You are such a delight to watch in this film. Aww. I so thoroughly enjoyed it. We've got on the one hand a character who is completely emotionless <laughs> and on the other one who's very prim and proper. But do you really think they're that different when it comes down to it? Hmm. Yeah. I think I think the way that at least I approached it at the beginning was we're both something that the other could never be right. and we both really want whatever the other, the other one's got. Yeah. And so that creates like this really weird clash where I think towards towards the middle slash end we start to become more so symbiotic. Really? But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but at, at the beginning I think it's definitely like this really bizarre fascination that they have with each other that almost borders on obsession that we just like, oh, yeah. we like want Desperate. what the other thing has. Other thing, other person. Other, the yeah. other thing. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever, in reality, been forced to hang out with someone who you really don't want to? Because you obviously get paid, your character literally gets paid a lot of money to hang out with Amanda <laughs> in this film at the start. I mean, I think you get, you end up having to do that sometimes for your friends. Or like maybe you don't like a boyfriend or something oh, and you're like, oh, I really, yeah. I really like you, but you're, you're, he's got to go. And you just have to kind of sit there and be like, hmm. Yeah, you can't, you can't say that, can you, until no, your friend realises. Say... Until they break up and then yeah. you can be like, I thought it from the start. Yeah, I yeah. really didn't like them. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, they probably don't pay you to hang out with them. No. Um, I love the crying technique in here, which I'm sure we've all maybe fake cried at some. Have you used the technique at all before? I'm sure I used it when I was a kid. Yeah. Do you know the technique back then? I think I could just like, if I just, I remember when I'd wake up in the middle of the night and because I always just sleep in my mum's bed when I was a kid. And I remember I would just, I would get myself into such a state just by screaming so much yeah. that I would end up just crying anyway oh. until my mum came in. So manipulative, three that, years old. But that's kids also. Like you see them when they fall over, they see if anyone's seen and they look around and then if someone's like giving them a bit of sympathy, they're like, ah, and yeah. they start crying and you're just like, yeah. yeah. Built into all of us. Pretty much. Built into all of us in the very start. I have to talk about Anton Yelchin in here because it's obviously one of his final films that he did and he's fantastic in it, and I think it's a talent that we really miss, but what was it like at the time when you were filming this? It's amazing. Yeah, he's brilliant. He's so, he's so curious, and he loves film so much that you just, you know, he would come in and he would have thought about all of these different details with a character that I think, you know, a lesser actor would have taken and made sort of just like, blah, and he just mm. elevated it to yeah. a whole new level. And was just so much fun to be around. Such a hunger yeah. for life. Yeah, I was so surprised by the character that he played in here was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It really was. And obviously this film was written to be a play originally. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would still work really well? Do you think you'd like to see it actually on the stage as well? Ooh. Oh, I would love to. Yeah. 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 That'd be awesome. I mean, we first read it as a play. And so oh. I think, you know, that there was an element of like, oh, how is this going to translate mm -hmm. to screen? Because when you're visualizing it for the first time, you're seeing it on a stage, but Corey definitely brought a lot of those theatrical aspects to the film, yeah. which is, I think, what made it such a unique yeah. shooting experience, because it's like the same. Yeah, because when it was adapted, it wasn't that much different no. in, in the, um, from the, the original version. Even the stage directions weren't that different. Yeah. Well, could you see yourselves being on stage doing this? Is it something that you would consider? I think I've aged myself out. <laughs> No, you haven't. Yeah, I'm aging like a president. I mean, you <laughs> you haven't got a bad hip. You're fine. <laughs> no, I think. I mean, obviously, I think Corey's so talented that we'd love to work with him again because yeah. he's like awesome. But I, I don't actually know what it would be like to be Lily, on screen. On yeah. sorry, on set every, every single, single day, and going through that journey yeah. every night. Yeah, you'd be like skeletal by the end of it. Yeah, it's totally. A it's a lot of commitment. Um, and I had to laugh when I saw you practicing in the mirror the smiling, oh, yeah. because I think we've all done it at some point, haven't we? Practice, do you ever practice <laughs> the smiling and the posing and making sure that you get your right angles and things like that? Oh my that? God, yeah. Every time like, I have to do a bloody red carpet, I try it like, like, okay, this is the face I'm gonna do. And then I get there and I'm just like, I have to like, troll. Well, no, you don't look like I a do. troll, but the lights go and you're sort of like, what am I doing with my face? Yeah. I'm just gonna stand here until they tell me I, I can know. leave. But um, I think I think people give each other like pep talks in the mirror, though, or at least I do. Am I weird for doing that? Like you look yourself in the mirror and you're like, you can do this. You've got this. Like you're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. I do that all the time. I feel like weird? I could do that in my head. I don't. Maybe. <laughs> no, 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 it's normal. To... <laughs> I'm just like Anya. Put your <laughs> together. You're gonna be fine. Well, it's a great movie. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed Thank it. You. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> to look, you know, simple when you can look stunning. I'm really sorry, we're very drunk, but we don't give a <laughs> Hey, girl! No, she ain't hear me, she ain't hear me. <laughs>